All right, good morning, everybody, and welcome to Strength and Balance on this icy Tuesday morning. This morning, we will be using one weight. And uh, so if you have no weight, grab something with a little substance, maybe a water bottle or, or something, uh, a soup can or something. What we are going to focus on today is balance and core stability. That's why we only need one weight or one thing to hold on to. Um, so like always, just remember that if I give you a uh, rep range, however many repetitions you can do with that perfect form is what you are reaching for. So form is always first. If your form starts to slip, that's when you need to stop and uh, reassess and then get back into it if need be, or just take a break and you are done. That's up to you. So let's uh, turn on the music and we can start. All right, so we are going to start up on your feet. With some shoulder rolls, we'll wake up the arms, wake up the shoulders, alternate. Big circles. more each side. Then we'll take the arms forward. So opposite direction, still alternate the arms. Let's do one more each side. And then swimmer, so a soft bend in the knee, one arm comes forward, one arm goes back. One more each side, and we'll give ourselves a hug. So arms come out to the side, palms face forward. Then we are going to bring the hands back as far as you can. Make sure the shoulders stay down. So we don't want to shrug. We want to keep them down. Arms back, then bring the arms forward. Give yourself a hug. One arm comes on top. And then open up and the other side. One more on each side. And let's relax those arms down. Take your head and look to the right and to the left. Make sure the shoulders are down and back as we loosen up your neck here. Keeping the core nice and tight. And release. Arms come out at shoulder height, palms face the floor, and we'll make small circles in one direction. And the opposite direction. Still keep those palms facing the floor. And release, arms overhead. So you are going to shift your weight up on that opposite foot and reach overhead and then the opposite side. Really focus on feeling that stretch all the way down the side of the body. One more 
each side, then we'll take it across. So from here, we are going to take it across, pivot on that toe, reach, and then the opposite side. One more each side, then let's go all the way around. So two overhead and two across. At your own pace, make sure you have that full extension. One more time all the way around. Then a little hinge forward and we'll get into your butt kick. So alternate those legs, shift your weight as you kick your butt. And from here, when you have the lower body, you can then add the arms, driving the elbows back. Now make sure you keep the shoulders down, abdomens nice and tight. One more each side, then heels to the front. Alternate. One more each side, then we'll tap to the thighs. So left and right to the side. Focus on getting that lower body first. When you have the lower body, then you can pick it up and add the upper body as well. But start with just tapping that foot. You're balancing here on that stationary leg. And once you have that, then you can add that opposite arm, same arm that's extending with the leg. One more each side, then we'll take those legs back. So soft bend in the knees and we're just tapping back. So that stationary leg is staying in place as you bring one foot back, keeping that core nice and tight. And you can chop those arms when you are ready. One more each side, then calf raises. We are going up on your toes for 10. So up and down, that's one, two, keeping that core tight, three, four, five, six, seven, And last, that's 10. Now we are going to stabilize on one leg, heel and toe on the opposite side. So we are going to have a nice soft bend in the knee, bring that opposite foot forward and toes back. Heel forward, toes back. So you wanna balance here on that standing leg. Core is nice and tight. Focus on pulling the belly button back towards your spine, bracing the midsection. Very little movement in the body, except for the arms that are chopping and right from the hip down of that moving leg. Besides that, we wanna to try to stabilize and really focus on the strength in the rest of the body. Let's switch sides. Now stabilize on the left, soft bend in the knee, heel and toe on the right. Again, 
again, have that nice soft bend in your standing leg and the knee. Core is tight, shoulders are down and back. Last one. Speaking of shoulders, we are going to bring those shoulders forward, up, around, and down. All the way around and down. Keeping your core tight, focus on that range of motion with the shoulder. One more, and let's take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale through the mouth. Two more. Last one. And release. So what, grab one weight or one water bottle or one can of soup. From here, we are going to start off single side to help with balance. So first we are going to start off with that staggered stance. So see if this is appropriate for you. If this is uh, a little too easy, then we'll challenge it. But we'll start off with that staggered stance. So your hips are going to be square your feet about hip width distance apart. From here, the same leg that is, uh, the weight is in the hand, so the same side that the weight is on, we are stepping that leg back. Now make sure when you step the feet back, you don't wanna step in line, you still want about a hip width uh, distance between your, your feet that one foot's just a little bit farther back. So you wanna step that foot back, make sure that hip, shoulders, and ears are all in a line, and you're nice and solid in this position, but you might notice you're a little bit more wobbly than you would be if your feet are side by side, okay? So we're gonna get in that nice staggered stance. Both feet are pointed forward, so make sure that that back foot's not turned. We want to have both feet pointed forward. Abdomen is tight. Hips, shoulders, ears all in a line. Shoulders down and back. We have a little soft bend in both knees. Brace the core. So from here, I want you to pull the belly button back towards your spine. Shoulders down and back. Squeeze that whole midsection. And we are going to go into 10 hammer curls on this side. So curl up and down, slow and controlled. We wanna feel that muscle working the whole time as we have the balance here. So we are working our core since the weight is staggered. The feet are staggered, I think this is four. Seven. You should feel it in the bicep. Eight. Nine. And ten. You can step that foot forward. Switch arms and we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So again, uh, feet are about hip width distance apart. Step that opposite foot back to so the same side. Uh, has the weight. I'm just going to move my mic. Abdomen is tight. Hips are square. Make sure you are bracing that core. Shoulders down and back. Ten hammer curls on this side now. So curl up and down. That's one. Take your time. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, last one. You can release and we are going to go back to the first side. Now, if your 
you felt solid and steady in that staggered stance, I would like you to challenge yourself a little bit more and I will show you how here in a second. If you felt wobbly and like that was difficult for you, I'd like you to stay with that staggered stance and challenge yourself there for this time through. So we are going through again, back to those hammer curls. This time, instead of have, having that staggered stance, we are going to balance on one leg. So that standing leg, soft bend in the knee, you will lift up the, the leg on the same side as the weight. Hips are square, shoulders are square, and then we are getting right into that hammer curl, slow and controlled, that's one. Again, we are going for 10, two. Take your time, focus on form, that's three. Keep your hips and shoulders square, pull the belly button back towards your spine, that's four. Five, halfway. Take your time. Six. Seven. Keep that foot up the whole time. Eight, if your foot is up. Nine. And last one. You can release down. Kick it out, same thing, back on the opposite side. So again, you can, if that's challenging for you, and we might have one side that's more challenging than the other. So we can keep, if that staggered stance is challenging for you, let's stick with that uh, staggered stance. If you wanna push it a little bit, then we'll stand here with that opposite, this knee elevated, same side, and 10 more hammer curls. The last set, let's curl up squeeze and then come back down. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Keep your core nice and tight. Seven, eight, nine, last one, that's 10, you can release. You can place the weight down for a second. Now we are going to go into your offset squats or sit to stands. So I'm going to go over that sit to stand form first, then I'll show you how to add that offset weight. So again, that sit to stand, feet are about hip width distance apart or wider. You wanna break at the hips, push your butt back, bend the knees as you come down, you wanna tap the butt and then come back on up. So make sure your chest doesn't drop as you come down, you wanna sink the butt down, tap the butt and come back up. So we are going to do five on each side. What I'd like you to do with that weight is have the weights in one hand. Bring that weight up towards the shoulder. So a lot of people will bring it up too high. We wanna drive it down and back because what I'd like you to do is squeeze the left. So drop that shoulder down, tuck the elbow in and squeeze. From here, your shoulders are square, your hips are square. So obviously your one side is more weighted than the other. You have to focus on keeping your core nice and tight. That way we don't lean to the side. So square hips, square shoulders, five on each side. Hips away, chest is up and let's begin. So that's one. Two. Eyes are forward. Three, elbows back. Four. That's five, and then we'll switch sides. So five on the left, or if you're on the left, do five on the right. Tuck that elbow down and back. Chest is up. One. 
two, three, four, and five. Take a second. We will do it one more time. So when you are ready, two more sets of five. So when you are ready, we'll go back to the original side. My original side was right. Chest is up, shoulders back. Five more. Down and up. That's one. Two. Three. Four. And five. Then the opposite side. Last time. One. Two, three, four, and five. You can relax, release, kick out those legs. Then we are going to go back into that staggered stance. So same stance like we did with the hammer curls, but we'll get into those alternating front raise, raises instead. Same thing. So we'll start off everybody doing that staggered stance first. Weight is in one hand. That same leg steps back. Feet are about hip width distance apart. Shoulders down. Abdomen is tight. Then we will get into that front raise. So that front raise. So you're starting off with your arm long with the weight in hand. And you can bring that weight up. We want to stop right at shoulder height. So it's important to have a straight line here. Now you can go palm in or you can go palm down. It's a little bit more gentle on your shoulder to go palm in and it's easier to keep your shoulders down and back. So I'm going to keep my palm face in. If you find that you want to keep your palm face down, that is fine. You can switch it up and do one of each. doesn't matter. All right. So I'm going to turn this way so you can, See my arm, abdomen is tight, toes are pointed forward, shoulders down and back, bring that arm up, pause, and slowly lower back down. That's one. Two, keep your core tight. Three. Four. Same thing on the opposite side. So we will switch legs. I will face forward for this one. Hips are square, shoulders are square. Same thing on the opposite side. That's one. You, want, you don't want to go any higher than the shoulder. Two. Three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, that's ten. You can release, shake those arms out. We are going to go back to that original side. Now this one is a little bit more difficult as you come, bring the arm forward to balance. So you can challenge your balance or stay in that split stance, whatever is appropriate for you. So I'm going to balance here, bring that knee up. If you need to be in that split stance for this one, that's okay. Shoulders down, hips square, abdomen is tight. Squeeze the shoulder blades together and bring that arm up. And down, that's one. 
two. Remember, it's a straight arm. Three. Four. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So you can release, kick it out, same thing on the opposite side. So when you're ready, you can balance or go right into that split stance. Hips are square, shoulders are square, shoulders down. Arm comes up to shoulder height and down. That's one. Nice straight arm. Take your time. Two. Three. Four. Five. Seven, eight, nine, one more. That's ten. You can release down, place your weight down on the floor, grab some water, but we are going to finish up and we are going to come down to the floor. We will need your one weight, so make sure you bring your weight but grab some water and make sure your heart rate is down before you come down to the floor. Hydrate. So we're going to come down on your back and we will start off with your bridge. So let's talk about this bridge. On your back, knees are bent, Feet are flat on the floor, hips are square. You want to sink your body down into the floor. Pelvic tilt, so when you're laying here, press that low back down to the floor. You want to make sure that both feet are flat on the floor, so we don't want to roll to one side. Feet are flat. You want to spread the toes, and you want to feel every single toe on the floor, as well as that heel. But we are going to grab our weight. So with our weight, we are going to do an offset bridge. So I'd like you to take that weight in your right hand. Now, I'm going to stand up so you can see. What I'd like you to do is have that weight on the hip. So it's on the hip bone of one side. So I'm, my right hand, this is probably like my left, my right hand is on my right hip. I don't want it to be in the center. I want it to be off to the side and we'll do 10 bridges with it on this side, then 10 with 10 bridges with it on the other side. Now you'll have to make sure that your hand is on here. That way it doesn't roll off. Okay. So we do want to have it offset. So not center. Again, feet are flat on the floor, pelvic tilt, press your low back down to the floor. Take that weight, it is on the hip bone of one side, pelvic tilt, abdomen is tight. You can have your hand on the other hip if you want to help keep you square, but the weight will be on one side. And then we'll lift up and squeeze, then slowly come down. We'll do 10 here, that was one. Having the weight off center really helps you focus on your balance, that's two. Seven, 
last one on this side, that's 10. Now we are going to take the weights to the opposite side. Same thing here, hips square, shoulders square, shoulders down, abdomen is tight. Up and squeeze, and back down, that's one. Make sure you feel your full foot, full feet on the floor. Two. Try to focus that the hips come up nice and square. That's three. We want that mind muscle connection. So be mindful of the muscles that are working. Four. Five. Seven, keep that strong pelvic tilt. Eight. Nine. And that's 10. You can release, pull both knees in towards your chest, relax for a second, because we will do those bridges one more time through. So when you're ready, both feet back down to the floor. That weight is back to that original side. Offset, pelvic tilt, abdomen is tight, hips up and squeeze, and slowly lower down. That's one. Two. Big tilt. Seven. Eight. Squeeze at the top. Nine. And ten. Then the opposite side, and this will be it for bridges for today. Again, pelvic tilt as we lift up and squeeze. And back down, that's one, two, three, four, five, one that's 10 you can release and pull both knees in towards your chest relax up side to side and last exercise with the weight we are going to stay here and cross your right ankle over left knee. Hips will remain square. That right knee will fall open to the right. Low back is pressed down to the floor. Abdomen is tight. We will go into your single arm chest press on the same side. So our right uh, ankle is on top of that left knee. So we'll do it on the right for 10 and then we'll switch legs, switch arms. So. Your weight is in your right hand. The elbow is out at about 45 degrees. Drop the shoulder down. Make sure the elbow is not up. We want to bring it down about 45 degrees. Make sure your wrist is in line with your elbow. So we don't want the, elbow, the wrist to come close to your body. It needs to be out a bit, stacked on top of that elbow. Abdomen is tight. 
from here we are pressing that arm all the way up towards the ceiling shoulder down and then slowly coming back down that's one keeping your core nice and tight two very little movement through the midsection three four last one on that side. Then you can uncross your feet, place the weight down, cross your left ankle over right knee, and transfer the weight to your left hand, but make sure it's not over your head. So you want to keep the arms down, transfer the weight over your stomach into that left hand. Now here your hips are square, shoulders are square, abdomen is tight, and we will press straight up on the left and back down. That's one, two, three, four, five. Last one on the left, that's 10. We have one more time through, so uncross, cross the right ankle over left knee again. Transfer your weight to the right hand, but make sure it's over the stomach and not over your face. Arms are down, not up. Elbow is out at about 45 degrees. We have 10 more on the right. Hips are square, shoulders are square. Press up and down, that's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's the last one. Let's switch on cross. Then that weight is transferred from right to left again over your stomach, not over your face. Wrist is in line with elbow. Cross that left ankle over right knee. Core is tight and press up and down. That's one. Uncross, pull both knees in towards your chest, hug them in, and rock side to side. You can push your weight aside. We are done with the weight. I'm going to angle my mat just a bit. That way I fit in the space. So we are going to go right into your dying butt. So arms will be long over your shoulders to make sure they're not overhead. We want to keep them fingers pointed up towards the ceiling, shoulders down towards the floor. Bend both knees at 90 degrees. Alternate tapping a heel down to the floor. And if you would like to challenge yourself, you can alternate the hand as well. 
So we are going to bring the right heel down to the floor and up, then the left down and up for 10. And again, if you need to, you can challenge yourself a little more by adding that arm. So let's begin down and up, down and up. That's one. Four, five, six, seven. That's 10. You can release. Pull both knees in towards your chest. Hug them in rough side to side. From here, we are going to flip over to your stomach. And into your child's pose. So we'll just hang out in your child's pose for a second. Hips over heels. Extend both arms forward. Now make sure when both arms are forward, you don't lift your butt up. You want to keep your butt down as you reach your arms forward. Then we'll come up to that tabletop position. And into that bird dog. So wrists are in line with your shoulders, knees in line with your hips. Today, let's start with that left arm forward, palm face in, right leg long, and we will do 10 on this side. So shoulders square, hips square. Bring the elbow and knee into center, and then extend long. That's one. Two. Three. Four. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Release on down, and we'll do the same thing on the opposite side. So right arm forward, left leg back, and let's begin. So elbow to knee, and extend. That's one. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. You can release, push back into your child's pose. And 30 seconds of a low plank. I'm going to turn this way just a bit so I can see the timer. Wrist in line with, uh, I'm sorry, elbows in line with shoulder, wrist in line with elbow. Forearms are parallel. Your back should be nice and flat, so that means the butt shouldn't be up in the air, but definitely the hip should not be down and sad. We want to tuck the tail, pull the pubic bone towards your heart, and squeeze that midsection. So 30 seconds. Forearms are parallel. Up and hold. Shoulders are down. Only 30 seconds. So really focus on that perfect form. Challenge yourself. Make sure that the butt's not up. Make sure the hips aren't stacked. Tuck the tail. Squeeze the tummy. We have 10 seconds to go. And release. You 
can push on back into your child's pose, butt back over heels. We have one more 30 second plank. This time we are going to do a high plank if you are able to. If not, do another low plank. Form needs to be perfect. So arms will be long. Wrist is in line with that shoulder. So with that push-up style plank or high plank, the arms are long. Everything else is the same. So arms are long, wrist is in line with shoulder. We step one leg back and three, two, one. Let's work. So shoulders down, squeeze the abdomen. You really want to focus on squeezing the lats and pulling the belly button up towards your spine. Slow, deep breath. Make sure we're not rounding the back. We want to drop the shoulders down, lift the chest up, relax the neck. We have 10 seconds. Five seconds. And you can release. Push on back into your child's pose and hold. Again, you want to make sure that your butt is down on the heels. Inch your fingers forward. From here, keep your butt down on your heels. Make sure you're not resting your head down. You want to lift the head up and walk your hands over to your left, but make sure you keep your head between your arms. And walk your hands over to the right. Same thing. Head must stay between the arms. to center, tabletop position, hands and knees, and let's cat cow, so tuck your chin, arch the back, then release, lift your chin, lift the tail, and let the back sway. Get as much flexion in the spine that you can. And release. We can come down to your stomach. Bring the elbows back next to your chest. Hips stay down. Chest comes up. Then you can come down. Roll over to your right side. Make a straight line with your body on the right, then reach for that left ankle and pull that left heel back towards your butt. So make sure the knee is not forward, we wanna pull it back. And a good way to make sure that we pull that knee back is if we roll forward onto your stomach, it's definitely not coming forward here. So if you can, roll onto your stomach, you can rest your chin down on your hand and keep that left Heel pulled back towards your butt. You should feel this in the quadricep of the uh, left leg.
underneath, same thing on the opposite side. You can stay on your stomach or roll to the left if you need to. over onto your back. On your back, your knees are bent. Arms out at shoulder height. Drop the knees over to the right. Take your head and look to the left. Then bring the knees to the left, take your head and look to the right. Back to center. Cross your right ankle over left knee. Let the right knee fall open to the right. And when you are ready, you can reach behind that left knee and pull the left knee in towards your chest. thing on the opposite side. Left ankle crosses over right knee. Let the left knee fall open to your left. And when you are ready, reach behind that right knee and pull the right knee in towards your chest. Then both legs long. Then here we are going to reach for that uh, right knee, pull the right knee in towards your chest. Then extend that right foot up towards the ceiling. That right leg will now be long. Press out through the heel, pull that right leg towards your chest for your hamstring stretch. release, bend that knee, extend that right leg long, same thing on the left, so pull the left knee in, hug the knee in, and extend that leg long, bottom of that left foot is now up towards the ceiling. release. Pull both knees in towards your chest. Hug your knees in. Rock side to side. Take your time. Let's make your way all the way up to standing. 
So come up to your feet, but be, be mindful of your weights. I don't want anybody to trip on your weights if they're still on the floor. Take your time here. When you are up and if you are ready and you're stationary, both feet are flat on the floor, you're feeling nice and solid. When you are ready, you can then roll the shoulders back. Keep the shoulders down and back. Take your head look to the right and drop your chin. You should feel it down the back of the side of your neck. And opposite side. center, roll the shoulders back again, arms out at shoulder height, palms will be up towards the ceiling, look up, push your thumbs back, open your chest. Now bring that left arm, drop the shoulder, bring it across the body, pull it in with your right and release opposite side Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Two more. Last one. Good job today, everybody. Happy Tuesday.